Well, hello YouTube. Well, time to do some changes on this uh, pellet burner. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, cut out the bottom so that the ash got a place to fall. And then work on the work on this part. I'm going to be uh, cutting out the bottom of that and adding an ash uh, ash pan or ash box underneath it so that the ash got a place to go. So, let me work on that and uh, see what happens. Well, I cut my uh, my burner on the bottom so that I'll be able to uh, remove the ash. One good thing about it is that it's also giving me access to this here. Uh, so if I want to make some modification or remove it and change it to something else, I'm able to. I got access to it now, which I didn't before. Well, this is going to be my uh, it's going to be my ash box uh, made it out of a galvanized steel that I had. It's light gauge. It's underneath the stove, so it doesn't need to be a heavy, heavy gauge. Now, I'm going to use my brake and do some bending. Now let me put the camera down and uh, see if I get a good angle. Well, let's see if this works. Oops. Yep. I'm still in frame. Yes. Usually it's tied down. There. So that's going to be my ash box. I'll uh, change my camera angle and show you where it goes. So I did some uh, little bit of prep work off the camera. 
Now this is where the hash gonna fall in. Now there is a good size hole underneath where the put some light on the subject here. We are. Pretty good hole underneath where the uh, where my burner is. And yeah, it's gonna fall underneath it. And I'm gonna need a lot of burning before I fill up that ash uh, box. Now, put that all underneath. That's gonna line up in here. And some light and the ash is gonna fall underneath it inside that ash box now I'm not gonna weld it I'm gonna pop rivet it in place and hope that the pop rivets don't uh, don't interfere with the uh, with my burner so let me finish that I got a good hour of work and I'll be able to do some tests later. So I'll be back. Okay now. My hash box in place. I'll put some kind of latches on that. I think that Going to be a lot of ash before that fills up. Hey, now time to do some tests. That's when the fun the fun starts. Now I'll put some uh, pellets in it and uh, start burning. Okay, now I got the. Pellets in. I got a fire going. And let's see. Well, it looks like I got a good burn. I did have to plug up this hole naturally because with a hole at the bottom of my uh, burner, I mean the air was going right past the pellets and not. Uh, not doing anything so uh, I'll have to replace the plate at the bottom at the back here just to plug up the back of my burner uh, the pellets are burning good and falling nicely into my uh, my ash uh, my ash box Some are falling in front of the burner, so maybe I'll have to cut my uh, my burner a little bit more. But I don't think that's going to be any problems. Uh, see, problem I had was ash buildup right in the back here. If the pellets are burning and falling right through and going right in, well, that's going to be great. Now, I did change something that I've not taken into, into consideration when I started was the pellets itself. Uh, how the pellets going to the pellets going to react to this kind of burner? I mean, they're manufacture for uh, a fan so they have some uh, they have some uh, how would I put that they have some specs different from one company to the other uh, the ones that I was using before uh, the company uh, I don't know what the recipe for their for theirs was but it created a lot of hash I changed company 
uh, a different recipe for pellets. Let's see uh, if this one, uh, I noticed that it was making less ash, so let's see if uh, that's going to make a difference. Now, if this burner plate on the bottom there uh, is still uh, not letting enough uh, pellets go through once they're burned, I'm going to, now that I have access to it, I'll remove that and, I don't know, maybe uh, make myself a kind of a grill with uh, little rods. Now, let's see what kind of a fire that we have. Let me just put it on here. Okay. Now that's going to be interesting. I never looked at the fire with this camera before. So, in the viewer, it does not look like my old camera. Oh well, I'll see on the video how it looks. Well, looks like I got a nice flame going. I just started the uh, fire about uh, five minutes ago, so uh, I'm not up to uh, temperature yet. But I got a good flame, which reaching my rock, the uh, must be long. The flame looks like it's long enough to reach the inside of my rocket stove. So reaching the elbow. Right now, the temperature is only 100 and looks like 150 Fahrenheit. Well, let's give it uh, some time, about half an hour, and I'll uh, I'll put the camera on the on to see what uh, what's going on.